Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen with another tip for you today. This is how to remote start your Volkswagen Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport using the key fob. This is the key fob that you'll use. That is an Atlas SEL right there as a 2023 model. This is a key fob once again. The buttons you're gonna use are the lock button here and a two times button here. To remote start your car, there's two ways to remote start it here. I personally like to do the two tap method where the car honks at me, that way I know it's locked. I'm gonna show you the one tap method, the one time method first. So you hit the lock button once, the lights will flash, and you hit the two times button twice, the car will start up. The daytime running light hockey, hockey stick lights here will light up on both sides. If you have an SEL, you'll get two lights on this side and two lights on this side. If you have an SE Tech, you're only gonna get one set of outside lights on either side, but that's how it lights up. If you've decided that you've you started your car early and you do not want to keep the remote start active, just simply hit the two times button once, the car shuts off and remains locked. Now the two tap method, if you want to tap the button twice, you're going to get that verbal confirmation honk. One, two, there's your honk, and two times button. Now that car starts, the daytime running lights activate, your side marker lights are on, as well as your tail lights. This car will run for up to 10 minutes, then it will shut off. If you have a fuel light on or a check engine light or an EPC light, there's a look at the marker lights on the back. The car remains running for 10 minutes, the lights stay on while it's running to let you know it's running. I hope this has helped you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call or shoot, shoot me a text or even uh, the best way is just leave me a comment in the comments below. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.